When buying and selling farms, it will often involve interaction with a number of different professionals. These will include selling agents. Selling agents are often the first port of call for a farmer when they want to sell their farm. The seller's agent is a crucial player in a transaction and can often assist the seller when providing the all important replies to inquiries, detailed plans showing access points, the location of any boreholes, and identifying areas required for holdover, more of which we'll come on to later. There is nothing better when buying and selling a farm to pack your wellies and visit the farm with your client and their agent. In particular, it's always worthwhile checking the following. Boundaries. Always print off the land registry title plan and walk the boundaries to ensure that the plan matches the position on the ground. Often, when comparing the title plan to a highway search, there are unregistered gaps between the highways and the property, which can be expect inspected on a site visit. If that's the case, then it's always a sensible idea to ask the seller to provide a statutory declaration or statement of truth confirming that they have accessed the property from the highways over the unregistered land without objection, complaint, or payment to a third party. The heads of terms produced by the selling agent often deal with the headline points that will need to be covered in the contract in addition to the usual provisions. However, sometimes further negotiation and discussion is required. For example, holdover. This is something often agreed between the parties at the outset and deals with the seller's rights to use the property after completion, often used where the seller needs to store crops in the property and remove them at a later date. You to ensure there is a plan clearly identifying the buildings the seller needs to use, the access rights they can use over the property, and that they have a right to use any services, i.e. electricity and water.